everybody video here for you today now we have talked about a lot of different places around the world today we are going to go down to brazil an archaeological site that is right down here northern part of brazil right down here near the coast google earth is not very clear in this area of brazil but this site is right down here i had a request for this through an email I said there is very little on youtube about this and not really a good one done in english so I thought I'd look into this, and I had actually found this about maybe two months ago. I was looking at some other sites in Brazil, and this one popped up. Now, when I found this a few months ago, I was kind of surprised there wasn't more written on this. Here is the name of the place, the Parque Arqueológico do Solsticio. And who knows if I said that right, but it's a Solstice Archaeological Park, and it's based on the stonework here. They call this place the Amazon Stonehenge or the Brazilian Stonehenge seems every group of stones around the world gets Stonehenge attached to it. I was just curious, so I searched my channel for Stonehenge. We have the Armenian Stonehenge, America's Stonehenge, Swiss Stonehenge, another one on Karahunj, Stonehenge of Armenia, Canada's Stonehenge, Stonehenge of the Golan Heights, an actual video on Stonehenge there with Mr. Leonard Nimoy in search of. But that'll just show you how many places are associated with Stonehenge and some of these look nothing like it at all. Here's a site today. It's called the Calcione Megalithic Observatory. We'll talk about the dating in one second here. Guess it's at the end of a trail on top of a little hill here. So that hints they were doing at, uh, astronomical observations. These stones appear kind of odd the way they are laid out here. But the hole and the one back here, that really hints that they were doing astronomical observations here. Seam stone circles were being put up all over the world. Here is the one from Karahunj in Armenia. They had holes in their upright stones. Here is a video I made, Burnt Hill, in Massachusetts. And this is a mystery stone circle appearing like many of them that appear in the UK and other parts of the world here. I will leave a few links below. Here is one, Solstice Megalith, Calcioni, Amapa, and the Amara Indian Stonehenge. So I guess we have a third name for this site associated with Stonehenge, but here, here is a look, the site here, another look. Let's look at a few pics here, Otto Store nearby. Here's a look at these uh, granite stones up to almost three and a half meters high, pretty large granite stones here. And it's not really laid out in a perfect circle, but certainly the solstice seems to be the alignment here. And that is a cross culture thing worldwide. Here's a look at hole, observational hole, probably one of the stones. Archaeological work going on at the site here. And this is a fairly new site as far as intensive research. Here is some pottery found at the site. And the dating of this, well, they did some dating work on some pottery found nearby. So they don't think this place is much more than a thousand, maybe fifteen hundred years old at the most. You can't date when a site was built based on artifacts and the dating of those that were found nearby. It tells you nothing about when the site was originally built. Now around the main feature in the nearby area, I guess there is at least a hundred of these granite megaliths. So people put a lot of work and maybe some other features have been lost to history here. How long have they been in the earth here? Well, that is a good question. And these appear to me much more ancient than just maybe 500 or 1,000 or 1,500 years old. These echo sites around the world that go back much further in history. Here is a look out of one of these observational holes in one of these megaliths here. And the solstice, winter solstice, seems to be the date that a lot of these are aligned to. But I don't think there's any definitive research done here since it's all very new. But I have no problem with it. This place was first photographed in the 1920s. They noticed granite wedges at the base of these monoliths that kept them at a certain angle. And then it was photographed in the 1950s and they noticed these were sitting the exact same way. So that seemed to be done with purpose. And the solstice days seemed to be the ones that they were targeting on. This place was first discovered in the late 1800s by a Swiss zoologist, Emilio Goldi. And they've only, up until today, have excavated about 15% of this area here. But these stone monoliths 
seem to be pointed at important solstice days, especially the winter solstice. There has been some work here, and everybody that works here seems to think the same thing. First discovered in the late 1800s, first photographed in the 1920s, then the importance of the site really wasn't noted by professional archaeologists till maybe two decades ago. This is Mr. Lailson Camillo de Salva. He is caretaker of the site, and he noticed these large stones around here when he hunted here as a boy. But these stones seem to follow the path of the sun on the solstice, so that is pretty cool. People were doing that a long time ago, and I wonder if some of these, some of these maybe carved, be in the form of some animals maybe. That is just a thought. Here's a good look at the site and the caretaker. Here are some artifacts found in and around this site. It comes from maybe a thousand years ago. And all that tells us is people a thousand years ago thought this place was sacred. There were burials found here two, three meters down the dirt. That just showed that these people thought this place was sacred, sacred enough to bury their dead in. Here's another article I will leave below, Amazon Stonehenge, discovered in Brazil. They give a few good looks at the site here. But you notice there are the main set of monoliths right here, and there are many other ones just kind of laying scattered around here. But this is a pretty interesting site, mainly because no good answers have been put out yet for it. Holes, astronomical observations, certainly the best guess, but there's just a field of monoliths who is doing this and when. Well, that is a good question. I will leave this link below if you want to read. It says a group of 127 granite monoliths up to 10 feet high was discovered on the 12th of May, 2006, in the middle of the Amazonian forest in the state of Amapa, northern Brazil. According to archaeologists of the Scientific and Technological Research Institute of the state of Amapa, this could be the oldest astronomical observatory in Brazil. That is a big question. How far back in time does it go? The discovery in that article in 2006, I think that was just meant by the people who wrote the article here. This might be one of many sites that helps rewrite the history in the Amazon. People say it might have been home to as many as 10 million people a long time ago. And of course, with deforestation, all these ruins are being found. I did a video on this maybe two, three months ago. But I guess deforestation is even going stronger than ever now because of the COVID problem and the lack of enforcement out here. Just read an article on that this morning. That is a video coming from Brazil, stonework that appears to be aligned to the winter solstice that we have no idea how old it is. Just so that was a cool video to do. I like to do at least one request video a week. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very safe day.